College of Arts, Oak Cliff, all of this is like your playground. So tell me a little bit about what makes Bishop Arts so special to you. I guess Bishop Arts felt very special to me, you know, back when I moved my shop down here in 2007. We just saw the independent businesses that were still here and that we're building. And so it just always felt very independent and not, you know, contrived and, um, and, and built from the ground up to be something that it wasn't already. To me, the culture is that there is no culture. There is no one type of thing down here. Everybody can do what they want to do and still be welcome here. And, and you see this amazing fabric of the community from Bishop Arts to Jefferson to Davis, and everyone is welcome. For us, it was really, what's the next step for the clothing line, which is folksy and McCullough at this point. Harkens back for us was, you know, it's a, it's a play on two words of it harkens back to a time when you knew your maker and your designer and, and where your products and your goods came from. So let's go, yeah. let's go take a look. <laughs> we don't really follow fashion, more so we follow our friends and their bodies and what they're looking for um, and that's, that's who we're designing for. You know, for us it was uh, creating a experience. So if we were gonna do Harkens Back, in this Amazon world, right, in this online world um, where we are seeing this decrease in retail. First of all, we're lucky enough to be a vertical supply chain. So we, from concept to store, it stays in our hands. In October, we ha will have a uh, fairly big relaunch of the brand, uh, both Foxy and McCullough, some new things coming there, our leather goods, our menswear, um, two fashion shows in two different locations. I'll be there. That will only be our lines, so, um, which will be the first time I've ever done that. So I'm excited to, to do all of those things and, and to become a part of whatever's next. <laughs>